happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a shein haul for you all you guys i can't stay off of shein i'm not gonna lie i love that website for getting all things nail art and so let me hop right on into what i got um this time around i tried to focus a little bit more on like storage items from shein because um I'm still getting my nail room together. I'm almost um, done with the updates to my nail room. And so I want to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing I got here are these photo albums. Um, these photo albums was actually a recommendation from a nail sister. So shout out to Carrie over at iNails. Thank you, darling. Um, she told me about these and I'm super excited because I was looking for ways to store my stickers and these were perfect. Okay. so. Let me show you guys what they look like. Um, I think these are only $1.52. And so they have the three slots to them. And so you can store a ton of nail stickers in here. I think I'm going to count the pages really quick. One, two. So I went and counted. So there's actually 40 sheets in here. And so that means it can hold 240 nail stickers. And so I have a ton of these nail stickers right here. And um, I have them currently in like the baseball card holding sleeve thingamajig. But for me, it's just taking up a little bit too much space. I found better storage to where I can store all of my stickers in one location. And so I wanted a smaller album for it. And I think this fits the bill here. Um, let's see, yep, they fit in here perfectly, y'all. Look at that. And so one of the things with this too is um, because it's clear, you really can't do two of these stickers back to back, which I don't like the idea of. So these are some cards that I got um, in a haul because I wanted to display like my old nail tips. And I um, showed this in a previous Shein haul, so I'll link that haul down in the description box below. But um, yeah, putting these cards in here, and you guys, when I say it fits perfectly, like, genius okay and then what you can do is you put a sticker on one side like this okay and then you'll put a sticker on the other side like this and then that way for your transparent stickers the ones that are like see-through and whatnot you'll be able to put one on each side and not have to worry about seeing through it so I thought that was a really great idea um so yeah i got that from shein okay and i actually got two of these they were only a dollar and fifty you guys so to be able to store what is that almost 500 stickers for three bucks that's a steal so i picked up two of these little photo albums here the next item that i picked up here these are new on shein's website but these are some numbers or these are some numbers that have like the duplicate so if you all want to label like your swatch sticks and foils and your acrylics and different things like that if you all want to have a numbering system them. they have these really cute hollow stickers now with these stickers here um it's only they're a dollar a piece and so if you want to have it for a labeling system you'll have to order two of them so together these cost like two bucks but let me show you guys how these look i thought this was really cool so it comes with 300 stickers you guys like that's a lot so for those of us who have really huge collections of nail art it goes all the way up to 300 so yeah i thought that was really cool so i picked up two of these so that i could number them what i plan to do with these is i plan to number my foils um you all see you all know how i have my foils stored in like that storage container they kind of look like tiktok containers so i'm gonna go ahead and number them like this and then what i plan to do is um how I have my small gold stickers I just showed stored, I plan to use them to organize my foils. So I'll do an updated foil organization video to show you all how I put these to use. Next items I got here, you guys, is I have a bunch of old nail tips, okay? And so I got these so that I could display my nail tips or at least keep them somewhat organized. So let's see, I think, so this is just some double-sided tape along with some clear display stands or whatnot. And um, I think this came with 40 of these little display stands. So let's see what these look like. Yeah, that looks really nice. So I actually, I wanna try to put this to use right now. I wanna give you all an example of what I plan to do with it. So these are my old nail tips. I call this my, my nail graveyard. And these are some tips that I just took off so they're kinda on the top. And I'm just gonna take them all out here and um, put them on display for you guys. Okay, so this is an old set that I literally just took off like right before I filmed this video. And so the way you use this is you'll take some of, you'll just take the double-sided tape and put it on here. I'm just kind of curious to see how this works. Okay, so it's thick too. 
you just take some and put it on here like so. And then you'll cut it here. I'm cut it like right here. And you'll just peel the backing off of here. Okay, that's pretty easy to use. And this would be good too for anyone who has like press on business or anything like that. Cool, so this is something like how I plan to use it. So all of my old sets that you all have seen me do in my tutorials, um, this is how I want to store them. So I'll just put them on this little display port here. And then I haven't decided how I wanna quite store them after this, but at least they're all in one place, one location, as opposed to it being up in here, just all, all just being lost in the mix, you know? There's a ton of them in here. So I'm just gonna put that in here for now. And maybe this might be a good way to store them too, just to store them in here like this. So yeah, and so these sets that I have on here, these are also gonna be going into the graveyard at some point. So yeah, all of my sets that I wear, I do keep them. That's the reason I like to use peel off base coats so that I can just kind of enjoy them for a little bit and then take them off and put them in here. So yeah, that's why I got these two items here. I wanna go ahead and just organize all of my old nail tips next storage containers that I got are these storage containers here. I picked up two more of these. These I absolutely love for organizing my charms. Okay, so that is how these look. So yeah, these are really awesome. I just absolutely love these for organizing my charms. So these are the charms that I have already that I have organized and this is completely full. So I definitely needed some more of these. Um, so yeah, I really like these storage containers. They're only $1.50 and they have six, I'm sorry, and they have 64 slots for you to be able to store stuff at. And what I really enjoy about these is that you can take them out and when you're working and doing your nail art, it doesn't take up so much space. So, and I love how compact it is. At first I only got these exclusively to store my charms, but I do plan to store my glitters in here as well as my nail embellishment and sequins. And so yeah, that is why I have these. I picked up two in this haul and I actually have three more coming. So I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of these. And then the last of storage containers is these little jars here. I picked these up. I'm not really sure how big these are. I think they might be five grams, but I'm really not sure. They seem kind of small. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in here, but I just like them. They had a twist off lid and you can put the lid back on it. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these. Um, I had gotten these for the purpose of um, putting some acrylic powders in there, but um, just to have like a little sample size out and ready to go. But um, yeah, they're a little bit smaller than what I was expecting. So I'm sure I'll find a use for them here in the nail room. But yeah, I have these. Um, these were only these were only a dollar and it came with 12 of them. So I did pick up two of these, okay? These charms right here in particular, these I saw on Sandra Sparkly Sets channel. So shout out to you, Sandra. These butterflies looked absolutely stunning. So I had to have them. Um, she showed these, I think she used these in a set on her channel too. And I just thought they were so freaking cute. So this is what they look like, y'all. These are adorable. Oh my goodness, okay? Do y'all see what's happening here? Right, it's a butterfly and then the wings actually move. Like, do y'all see this? I don't even know, let me put this in the tray. Do y'all see? It's so cute. And then the wings, they move y'all. I don't even know if I can show it properly, the nails are too long, but yeah, the wings, they they flap. I just thought that was so cute. Oh, so y'all see, that's what it would look like here on the nail. How cute is that, y'all? That is just really adorable. So I did pick this up. I got it in a few different colors, though. So let's see if I can find them all. Yeah, I got two of these. I got it in the really pretty purple, purple glittery color here. I thought that was super cute. And I picked up two of those. And then the last color I got it in is the really cute pink iridescent color. And again, y'all, I just love the fact that the wings, they bend. So that is just so cool. I picked up some of these cute little flowers here. Thought these were cute. And it's nice that they have like the little caviar beads in here. This is also something that I'm gonna put in that container that I just showed. Um, stuff like this that come in these bags. I'm gonna depot these and put them in that storage container. So I've got this. Next item I picked up is just some charms here. These are just some really cute red bow ties, okay? So let me take these out of the packaging so you all can get a closer look. These are what these look like. They're kind of like a matte red, kind of clayish looking color here. Super beautiful. So I want to see what that looks like on the nail. Well, it's kind of heavy. I think it's made of like a metal material. 
Yeah, it's kind of heavy. That's interesting. It does have a nice curve to it, so that's good. Yeah, that's really cute. So this is what it would look like on the nail here. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, I like that. So I have these red bow ties here. Next item that I picked up are these really cute gold teddy bears. Okay, let's give these a look. I just thought these were so cute, you guys. So y'all know I've been really been into teddy bears lately. So I picked up these really cute gold teddy bears. Okay, and they have a decent little, no, actually they don't really have a curve to them, but they're small enough to where they fit on the nail with no hassle. So this is what the bear would look like on the nail. It's really nice and small. So if you wanted to wear them with short nails or if you wanted to wear them with long nails, you have the option to do that. So yeah, I got these, you guys, they're super cute. I also picked up these cute little rhinestone kind of butterflies here, really cute pastel colors, really nice light pastel colors here. Again, this would go really cute with the set that I have on too. But yeah, I like these. I thought they were cute. I do have some iridescent uh, butterflies that I just fell in love with. So I definitely wanted to get them in more colors. So I have these. I also picked up, okay you guys, so this was kind of different for me, okay? I guess I'm kind of getting into chunky charms, but I did pick up this here. So I know that they have these individually where you can get them like a 10 pack or whatever, but I don't know that I'm that committed to, you know, quiet charms like that. And so I thought it was nice that they had this in like a little variety. I thought they were super cute so you get two of each which is just perfect if you want to do a set and y'all how cute are these though let me just put a little bit more wax on my nail here and yeah y'all see this like how cute is that though like yeah I think that's adorable these are so cute okay got a pink coffee mix and then this one it kind of reminds me of like a the color looks very avocado-ish you know and so again that's what it would look like on the nail that's really cute and then this is what the pink one would look like on the nail okay yeah super cute just something to play around with just trying out some different nail art designs they pick up some more nail tabs so this is my first time ordering them from Shein I picked some up from Amazon once and they work a little bit too good you guys i got them for the purposes of maybe doing press-ons if i wanted to film a video really quick and that stuff stuck too hard so i'm going to try these out and crazy enough i just hope that they're not as good as the ones from amazon so we'll see i was looking for something that was going to be easy peel off once i test these out i'll let you guys know how they work i did pick up some nail art stickers so i have two here i have these beautiful lavender colored nice beautiful flowers here i just thought that was just really cute perfect for spring and summer, as well as these really cute green cacti. I just thought these were adorable. So I guess I'm gonna have to do a cacti set, y'all. I just thought that was really cute. I got it just cause it was cute, to be honest. So yeah, I haven't seen um, any stickers like this before, so I thought they were pretty unique. So I have these. Next item I hauled here is this LED flashlight. I've been seeing everybody have this. Um, and I just thought it'd be really easy for when I'm trying to like cure my charms and such. So I went ahead and grabbed one. I was really trying not to get one, but I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, it is random colors on the website, which um, yeah, I got blue, not my favorite color, but um, I have it. I was kind of hoping that I would have got like the yellow one or maybe the pink one, but you know, I have it here. So it looks like it takes batteries. It is battery operated. So I have some batteries here. I'm just gonna put them in and see how this works. That's pretty cool. So, you know, when you're carrying stuff, you don't have to, you know, put it underneath an LED light. Oh yeah, and by the way, you guys, these actually glow in the dark. I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but yeah, these glow in the dark. So that's pretty cool, okay. And then I also saw a hack too, where if you guys take like an old like jelly stamper, so I have this jelly stamper here. I took the thing out of here. And apparently you can just put this, like this little jelly stamper piece on the inside of this and create the little jelly stamper you need for when you're wanting to put sequins down. And y'all, it looks like it works. Oh wow, okay it does. Look at that, oh it works. Okay, so I just made my own DIY jelly stamper flashlight. So if you all have like the sequins and stuff, actually it would have been perfect for this set here because I have a lot of sequins that I put on here. And if you want to get them to lay flat, you just kind of press it onto the nail and you can flash it in place where it lay flat to the nail. That is genius. Okay, 
love this hack. And this jelly stamper that I got here, this, I got this from Shein too. I got it in like a separate haul, but yeah, y'all, I think that's pretty awesome. And honestly, this right here, <laughs> now that the jelly stamper is out of it, this could be used as a storage container too. So if you all want to repurpose this for something else, maybe glitters or sequins or something like that, you can, but that's pretty cool. So now I have an, an empty container and I have my jelly stamper now, y'all. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that hat. Also picked up another stamping plate here. Speaking of jelly stampers, we have different fruits and such on this one. Let's see if I can get it open here. This comes with like a lot of different fruit on it, you know? So we got bananas, watermelon, cherries, grapes. So yeah, I just thought that would be pretty cute if I wanted to put some fruit on a nail or whatnot. So I have this. I also picked up some chains, you guys. So I'm getting into, you know, getting a little more extravagant with my nail art. And I thought these chains were really cool. They have gold and silver in these. Okay, so this is what the chains look like here. Okay, so they got all different kinds. They have like the beads, like a regular chain, thinner chains. So yeah, that's what they look like here, okay? And then just to kind of give an idea of what it might look like on the nail, say if I wanted to put this gold one on the nail, you know, you can put it on like that. And I didn't even think about it, but you could actually, I kind of like the fact that this has a knot in it. If you wanted to, you can make that a part of your nail design with like a knot and the chain, you know? That's kind of cute. But yeah, I've seen people like frame their nails with chains and such. You know, it just gives like an extra vibe, a different look to the nail. So yeah, I got this in gold. And then this is another chain here. And this one is in silver. You can like wrap it around the nail. You know, you can do something like this going straight across. You know, you can just be creative with it. But I just thought it was kind of different and kind of fun. So just, you know, just to add some more stuff to my nail art collection. Get me thinking outside the box, you know. So I got that. Um, I also picked up these. I thought these were really cute. These are kind of like some antique-ish looking nail charms. But they are pearls that have frames around them. This is what this looks like. Yeah, these are really nice. I like that they have the multicolored ones. They got the black ones. They got the cream looking ones. This really nice light blue. Yeah, these are really cool. Let's see what these look like on the nail. I'm gonna go for the gold one here just to see. Yeah, that's nice. Y'all see that? Yeah, I like that. That's really cute. Okay, so I got these little pearl charm looking things. I actually got these bowls here. They come in black and white. Um, so I picked up some of these and this is, oh, they got different shapes in here. Okay. So they got all different types of bows in here. They have like some shorter ones, some smaller ones, some bigger ones. So let me show you all what these look like on the nail. You know, that's really cute. A little black bow. That's really cute. So yeah, I just thought that was really cute. So yeah, y'all can play around. So you can play around with different looks with the bows. I feel like I have a few bows, but I didn't have any that were like a solid color. So I got these. I had been looking at getting this palette for like the absolute longest. Um, so I have this. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I love this, y'all. So I got this. This is like the pink one here, but I love that crown here at the top, okay? And this is, it can be used for a variety of different things. It can be used as like a mixing plate. It can be used to display your nail tips. Um, you know, I guess you can use it if you want to take photos. Um, but I got this for the purpose of when I'm getting ready to do my nails, um, I just want to have my nail tips somewhere. Wow, hold on, wait, y'all. Y'all see the, the diamonds? Y'all see the detailing on this? I love that. It got the diamonds here, got the diamonds in the crown. This is really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, just want to give you all an example. So when I'm getting ready to do a set, so this is how I store my nail tips. In particular, I just put my sizes in this container and I have them labeled. I need to get a better label for this, but these are my Shein square tips and these are my Beatles coffin tips. And so when I'm getting ready to do a set, it's really easy for me to just go in here and pick my nail tips out. I have them in order from my index finger to my thumb and I literally just go in and I grab one of each and I set it on my plate for me to be able to do my set, just like this, right? Whenever I'm getting ready to do a set, I have all of my nail tips already sized out and ready to go. That way I don't have to waste too much time getting ready to do my set. So that is why I got this plate. These are just actually, I guess, the different plates that I have here. Like I said, this is from Amazon. I still love it. I still use it all the time. This one I'll use more so for nail art now. And then this one is gonna be for my nail tips when I'm getting ready to do my set. Also, if you guys have like a press-on business or 
or something like that you can totally use this to display your nails that are already done and designed so yeah i really like this a lot i'm happy i have this the next item that i picked up from shein is this um just some cute nail art decor these were some pretty little crowns that i thought would be cool to just kind of have in my collection so these are really cute but it has like crowns and bows in it let me uh let me show you all here so that's what the crown looks like here yeah that's really cute just like some simple nail art you know what the bow would look like on the nail you know it's just really cute simple dainty you know so i just thought these were really cute and actually all the ones i just showed i feel like those would be really cute to go in this set as well so yeah i picked this up next item i picked up here is some more of these teddy bears i didn't realize i also got them in silver so let me show you guys what the silver looks like this is the same teddy bears i showed earlier but i also got them in silver they're super cute that's what they would look like on the nail okay yeah that's really adorable <laughs> So I got that. I did get some more chunky charms, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. I'm really stepping outside my comfort zone and trying some new things. These are some fruit pieces that are chunky charms, okay? So there's the pineapple, some grapes, not watermelon, but grapes, and um, a little carrot here. That carrot is cute. So I'm gonna put the carrot on the nail, see how that looks. Yeah, isn't that adorable? Yeah, that's really cute. So I'm not sure what kind of set I'm gonna do with these. Um, but I'm excited to have them and put them to use and they do have a nice little curve to them as well So that's that's pretty nice Y'all see the curve. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay, so I have these in my collection you guys I picked up a um, Another mixing palette slash brush holder um, So this actually comes with like in random colors um, But I got it because sometimes when I'm doing nail art, I don't need like an entire you know palette out to be able to do my nail art sometimes i just need just a little small space to be able to um put my you know gel polish and so i thought this was actually really perfect so you can put like a dot or two of your gel polish here or here you have up to two or three colors and then i also like it too because as you're working you know you can just put your brush here you know so i thought this was really nice and would be really like useful for me you know and the other brush holder that i got from shein i got this one from shein right which it does the job right it works but it's it's kind of small and sometimes you know it's like it moves around too easily and sometimes it falls off the desk while I'm working I mean it still serves its purpose but I definitely like this a lot better so if you all are debating between these two on Shein I would definitely recommend this you can do a little bit more with it and I think they were the same price and if not this was maybe like 50 cents more but like I said you can put your nail art brushes here and then as you're working on any type of you know different like nail art you can kind of dab in and do what you need to do and set the brush down so yeah I thought this was a really good a good find so I picked that up I also picked up some more rhinestones you guys so I got some different colored ones I'm really trying to get more stuff that's like spring summer themed y'all these are gorgeous these have a really nice shift to them wow look at that that's pretty do y'all see this wow I love that yeah, y'all, these are gorge. Okay, so these have like the different shapes to them. These kind of more of an oval shape, a long oval, and a nice pretty diamond. I just love how iridescent this is. Like, this is freaking stunning. I think these might be glass. They kind of look like glass. That's what it would look like on the nail there. That is just really pretty. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, yeah, I like that. And then on the other side here, we have we have different shapes too. We have like, um, we have these shapes over here. Yeah, y'all, these are gorgeous. Really, really like these a lot. I'm glad I picked these up. These are the other ones that I got, you guys. I just thought these were so cute, okay? Kind of the same deal. They come with a variety of different shapes in each one. Let me just open them all up so y'all can see. Yeah, so they come with a variety of different um, shapes and colors. And so I just thought they were really pretty. You got the iridescent, you got the blue, the light lavender, kind of peachy color. You even got red. What is this, like a blue, kind of almost black color? Yeah, these are really pretty and I love the shift to them. Love, love, love it. And then let me show you the colors on the other side. On this side, you have like, like a kind of a fiery orange kind of color here. Okay, with the, all the different shapes in there. A lime green, light purple, light blue another kind of peachy color 
and another kind of lime green color. I just thought this was really pretty and a nice deal, so I picked that up. I did pick up some nail tips as well. Um, I am getting into acrylic application, you guys. So I have these. These are, I guess, the long coffin square tips. Um, let's see. So this is a size three. Let me just kind of pull it out and see how long they are. Okay. So this is a coffin tip here. So if I was to put it here, okay. It's about the same length as the other ones that I got here. I feel like the nail bed on these seem kind of small for a size three, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that these fit my nail bed just fine. I, I hope they do, but they look decent though. They seem a little bit flimsier than the square tips that I have on right now, but um, yeah, we'll see how it, how it holds up. Um, yeah, so I have these. If nothing else, if I can't use them on myself, I can always use them on my practice hands. So I picked up these here. Last thing that I picked up, you guys, which everybody has already seen these and everybody pretty much has them already, but I was really late to the game with getting these really beautiful um, planets here. I've been dying to get some of these in my collection and oh my gosh, they are just as stunning as I was expecting and hoping for them to be. So yeah, oh my gosh, do you guys see this? Oh my goodness, these are absolutely stunning, wow. Yeah, I don't know why I waited so long to pick these up, but I'm glad that I finally have them in my collection. I'm trying to think what color did I wanna show here. Let's show this one that has the multicolors, you know? So you guys, this is a hack that I showed in another one of my videos, but if you all are YouTubers and you're trying to show um, you know, different charms and such on your actual nail. If you all want, you can grab like a little wax pencil and just kind of like put some of the wax onto your nail and that kind of helps your charms like stay in place uh, while you're demoing it. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to place the charm right here. And yeah, y'all, do y'all see how beautiful that is? Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. I'm glad I picked this up. I love all the detailing on it and the rhinestones and the little cross here. Like that's absolutely gorgeous. Y'all love that. This is everything that I picked up in this particular Shein haul. Um, I do actually, I created a playlist for all of the hauls that I've done, both on Shein, Amazon, Dollar Tree, any stores that I purchase nail supplies from, I do have them in a playlist. And so if you all wanna check out my Shein um, nail haul playlist, I am gonna leave that link down in the description. Um, I also will leave it linked in the cards here at the end of the video. So it'll be easier for you all to click on it. But yeah, I have a whole dedicated playlist to all of my nail supply hauls that I've done. I think I'm up to like 10 hauls that I've done from Shein. So I can't get enough of this place. And then sadly enough, I actually have three more orders on the way. So you guys definitely stay tuned. I did find some new goodies on Shein. So I'm excited to share them with you all. I do have also tutorials on both of these sets that I have done. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye